<laughs> What's happening? Motherfuckers. Brother Brian's back. Now, I got my cell phone. That's why it, it does all this crazy stuff with the light. But, you know what? I'm just too lazy to walk in the house to, to get my pad with a little better camera. So, you know what? There ain't nothing super fancy fancy around here you really need to see anyway. Um, give you guys a little update. I'm feeling a little bit better. My, my back's feeling better. My fingers still tingle and go numb. I got sick and uh, my cold, it's still kind of in my chest a little bit. I'm still hacking and coughing stuff up, but I'm starting to feel better. If you're wondering, that's why I haven't put up any videos here. I just haven't been feeling well. I've been trying to recover and get healthy. So uh, I stopped at the Omega Music today after work. You know, I was listening to some, some records last night and then I was watching some videos with uh, like Steve Carlson and Vinyl Richie and man, I just got all fired up. And I just was like, you know what? I'm going to go out and find me some records. I'm just kind of kind of in that mood, you know? So I went to Omega Music today and uh, picked up some records. I'll kind of show you what I got. They had a uh, the Pink Floyd. This is a 50-year anniversary album. Live at Wembley. I haven't opened it yet. I carried this around the store for a while. Then I put it back. and Then, you know, I was up there ringing up my, my records. And and I got all these records, okay? And it was like $100. A little about $102 for these records. And I was debating. I was like, man, that's... I really want that Pink Floyd, but I don't want to spend, spend the money on it and so I just, you know, so I was just like, you know what, man? I might already have it. I don't even know. I don't know if they've if they've done this. I've got so many Pink Floyd albums in there. You know, I didn't know if I had it or I didn't have it. So I was like, you know what? Fucking, I went and got it. You know, it was like 40 bucks. But, man, I love Pink Floyd. I think it's just going to be a great album. So it's like I was at 100 bucks, 102 bucks, and it went up to almost like 140 something, almost 150 bucks, you know, just by adding one record to the thing. And I was just like, you know, it just blows you away. You know, Steve, he was doing that video and he was showing that Steve Carlson and he had those records. And I was just like, holy moly, I've got that record. I've got, you know, these records that I've got and the prices of them was just crazy, you know, but. Anyway, I just want to show this one first. I was debating on getting this. So I ended up getting it. You know, when I sit there and I'm sitting there debating too hard, I just say, fuck it. You know, I work for a living. I'll just go ahead and get it, you know. But I did find some, some nuggets this week. There's some nuggets in this stack. Uh, things that I've, I've not ever seen. And the prices were incredible. So even though I spent a lot of money on that Floyd, man, I got some really, really nice records man check this out this next record i've never seen this before in the wild and uh look at that bb king my kind of blues okay now this is an original 1961 mono <laughs> okay so i'll sit there this is the back of it look at this i don't know let me see if i can get it look at that it's in good condition. It's on the crown. <laughs> I mean, come on, people. There's a nugget right there. BB King. Old. Old killer BB King. So, I picked that up, man. It was in the uh, the new arrivals bin. So, I'm really looking forward to spinning this. I just know that this is, this is going to be great. This was $17.99. I'll tell you the price. Who cares? But, man, I'll tell you, man, for that, I mean, let me know. Do you guys, have you ever seen one of these running around in the wild? And uh, I picked this up. This is a, a 1967 Ravi Shekar. I picked that up. I don't think I have this. I don't think I do. But usually... If I see a Robbie sitting there and it's a good price, I'm going to pick it up. 
But then I seen this in there. Look at this. Let's look at the condition of this thing, man. This is an original, an original Dave Brubeck Take Five. This is a 1959 Canadian copy. Let's see if I can pull it out here. Check this out. Look at that. This is the label here. <laughs> Come on, man. It's another nugget. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Brubeck. 59. Canadian Press. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I got that. Now, check this out. Here's another little nugget. This may not be your, your speed. May not, you may not dig this, but I dig this, man. Look at this. It's like brand new. Tears for Fears. Songs from the big chair. And it's, I mean, this thing looks brand new. Like it just came from the store. This is a, uh, the 1985 press. This is not, look at this thing. It's like, it's like brand new. It's in mint condition. <laughs> Come on, man. It's on the Mercury. It's got that song, Everybody Wants to Rule the World. Ain't that the truth today in the world we live in? And then it's got that song, Shout. Killer album. So, yeah. Fantastic condition. I was all over that, okay? Now, the next records I picked up, they were country records. Okay, I picked up, a, I, went, I took my time, I slowed down, I went back into the country, and I started digging around, and I found some really nice nuggets back in the country section, man. Come on. I mean, it's just, just unbelievable. I mean, look, Hank Williams Jr. Promo, white promo copy. Look at that. Three dollars. Three dollars. Come on, man. <laughs> Hank Williams Jr. for three dollars. Can't you can't make it up, man. Beautiful condition. Promo copy, not for sale. Hank Williams. So yeah. Pick that up. Hank Jr. Hank Jr., that is. And then here's another one. This one's a 1972 white label promo. Fuck, I, I hope I didn't say that was a white label. I meant to say this one. This was Hank Williams Jr. White label promo. Beautiful condition. There it is on EMG. Look at that label. Look at that. Hank Williams Jr. Look at that. <laughs> Come on, man. That record was $4.99. Come on. Go find one. Go find a record. Go find a promo, an original promo from 1972. Go find that for $4.99. You know what I'm saying? And uh, here we go. This is, <laughs> check this out. This is crazy. This is crazy. Porter and Dolly, okay. Porter and Dolly. This is a uh, a nineteen. This is a nineteen seventy, okay. It's sealed. It's never been opened. It's it's like it's a brand new sealed copy from uh, nineteen seventy. Porter and Dolly. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, man. That's a, that's a nugget right there, man. Beautiful. Beautiful. Then there we go. We got. Look at this. Stowall Jackson, the best, the best of. I think that's what this is. Yeah, his all-time greatest hits. Stowall Jackson, gatefold double album. Look at that. Beautiful. Pick that up. Seven dollars, man. Seven bucks. And then, uh, here we go. It's another Probo. This was a Probo here. It's Bell Tillis Probo. So, and the State Siders. This one here, it's a 1976 Probo of Bell Tillis. 
76 was a real good year for Bill Tillis. He put out some good music then. So yeah, I went there. It took a little bit more time. I was probably there for about an hour digging around. There was a few things that I was kind of eyeballing. There was, they, you know, it's anytime I'm looking for a specific record, it's like, hey, do you guys got such and such record? They're like, no, but we could order it for you. And it's like, they don't seem to ever have what I'm looking for, but they've always got, they've always got some great records, man. Look at, hey, look at that. That's for, that's before he jumped off the side of the mountain and landed on his face. And uh, <laughs> this is after. This is why he started doing the beard, man. The guy fell off a mountain and lived, man. He's a badass. So anyway, 10 minutes and working on 11 minutes. That's my pulls this week. It's the weekend. I'm going to do some more relaxing and uh, maybe watch the basketball. And hopefully these storms don't get too bad, man. Thanks for hanging out with Brother Brian. I'm out of here.